question 22. 22. Um, which non die system appeals to you? Ah, uh, for me, no cards, no tarots, tarot, tarots, tarot, tarot, cards. Uh, no special chips you pull into a bag, no runes you throw onto the table, no, 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 nothing weird like that. Uh, RPG to me has to have dice, and that's just the way it is. Uh, so, uh, what's my favorite non dice mechanics? Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Uh, there are games that doesn't don't use dice, like Amber Diceless and things like that. Um, to me, the non dice system that I prefer are these uh, Benny's Hero Points, Drama Dice, Luck Point, Action Dice, those type of unit that can saves a player's bacon during the game that can be used by a game master as a bargaining chip for intention these points that allow your character to survive because the game is supposed to be heroic and heroes don't die easily or they can help you create circumstances and, and scenes that are typical of that genre without without brushing the feathers or the, the, the <laughs> brushing the feathers of the player in the wrong direction by doing it by giving someone to the player and say trust me and this I'm giving you power over the game with this it creates also a, a mechanic to reinforce trust between participants. And trust is a big deal. When you trust your game master, the other players, you can do very cool thing at the table. And, and, and when a player doesn't trust the table, you, you can uh, almost hear the sand in the gears. You can almost hear it from everyone around the table. Uh, nails scratching on the table and faces like grimacing like, oh my god. When you have trust, you have people laughing, and trying all kind of crazy stuff. And this is, uh, this is what role-playing games should be about. Uh, trying to pull stuff out of your hat, uh, trying to uh, entertain other, entertain others with uh, with your ideas, play a character to the hilt, trying to stay true to that character, and sometimes it can be hard when the dice roll against you, and and sometimes sometimes I always remember this video about the chimp. They're giving like a little, little knot to one chimp in a cage. They're not chimp, but they're they're, they're monkeys. They're giving one monkey this this knot, and the other one got a, is got is, is getting fruit, and you can see the first one getting very pissed about it. It's it's not something funny for him, and you can see that in primates. The, the, the sense of something being unfair is like encoded in our in ourselves. There's a saying that say that uh, the legal system uh, there is there's the law and there's justice. There's the law and there's fairness. And sometimes random randomness can provide very unfair <laughs> result and I always think about this little monkey so pissed you got this little knot and then the, the, the scientist give him one more knot and you look at the knot and look at the, the other guy giving having fruit and he 
throw the stuff he throw the stuff at the scientist and he shake the cage he wanted fruit like the other guy next to him sometimes you just play and it's something very unfair and and most games will will say the GM can do whatever he want he can do a do-over he can fudge the dice roll whatever but it to me at least it feels more right when you have a bargaining chip you have some kind of unit that you can say okay 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 this is so unfair it's cool it's hilarious everyone gets a point <laughs> you, you can use it to try to fight this ungodly unfair <laughs> situation and try to make it interesting so to me these negotiation unit uh, change my way of, of playing and and I saw my player my players change also using these units and and they just make make up for for very fun time and some of some games using these mechanics are very wild you receive plenty of points during the game and you use them a lot and and the game is practically just these units getting from hand to hand is very crazy and wild such as a savage world but in any games that use these types of mechanics if the GM doesn't use them properly or is stingy about using or giving them uh, the opposite appear the game can be become very deadly very unfair very wild and for some setting it will work uh, if you use for example Savage World and you decide to award bennies just for this horror setting you decided to just award bennies for uh, that type of action like uh, uh, I don't know uh, using a horror trope for example you don't get it for making the table laugh or doing something cool or blah 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 or, or playing your desads no you just receive a penny just for one particular thing that would be okay because this game is an horror game and it's supposed to be deadly so that's okay but in games that are more pulpy more Indiana Jones superheroes those can can really really help to create the mood you want and I just love these uh, these, these units very much